Hello folks, Damien Jones here again for you today and today I thought I would share with you something that I haven't done for a very long time and that is to do a review on one of the latest Action Man figures. Now this particular Action Man that I've picked up is one of the new fourth generation type bodies which means that the figure has been uh, updated again. Obviously it will have the same traditional head but the body is more like that of say uh, one of the dragon in dreams figures if you ask me it says quite clearly on the box that it has they now should i say have 30 points of articulation and they also have brought back gripping hands uh, when they brought these out again uh, the they did so, uh, Hasbro did it for the 50th anniversary. I did a review on a couple of those figures and they were very good and they were very, very faithful to the original action men of the 60s and 70s sort of era. Uh, and then they decided, uh, it was a few years after that, they decided to bring out another line of simpler figures which comprised of a pilot, a sailor uh, and a soldier. Uh, and they were just very basic figures. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the head sculpt. I didn't have a problem with that. It was like with most of us long timey collectors of Action Man. Uh, it was the body, uh, the articulation was poor. What it basically was, uh, was basically a Ken doll's body, which, you know, these sort of bendy at the knees and the elbows and no... Uh, no movements in the hands or wrists or anything. Pretty poor, really, uh, in comparison to the quality of uh, what makes Action Man Action Man, you know? It's it's all about the articulation, isn't it? It's all about, um, well, it be it, the realism, if you will. I mean, that's what made these things popular in the first place. Anyway, I'm rambling. I have picked up one of the new fourth generation action men figures here by hasbro and we're going to review it today and we're going to see what's different about it uh i've chosen the officer cadet um there are many others available as it says on the side uh which is this side first as you can see there is the action soldier the action pilot and what i have here the officer cadets uh, as opposed to the uh, sailor for some reason the sailor's not been continued or so it would appear uh other figures there are six in this collection they have and again they're all modern uniforms which is great to see the the toy lines moving with the times they have night ops which is basically and these are the deluxe three uh this one point to make these are your basic three of which i've got one and these three over three in the collection the these are like your deluxe ones and uh, they are they come with weapons and more uh more gear basically there's the night ops which is basically like a swat team guy which is nice uh marine ops and freeze force which is a variation on the arctic figure that they brought out with the 50th anniversary which is all very very nice so let's have a quick read of the back and we'll bust him open and we'll take a good look okay it says action man officer cadet action man is the movable action figure and this latest collection of seven features the soldier the pilot the officer cadet the marine with deluxe editions of the soldier freeze force and special ops each edition from this collection features a highly articulated figure with four uh, 30 points of articulation the distinctive action man scar with detailed uniforms and a new life-size version of the dog tag because of course the dog tag that has always come with action man before has always been massive really in comparison to the figure now it's more in scale 
Anyway, add these to your collection and inspire the next generation by exploring the attic for all the Action Man treasures it may hold. It also says, keep up to date with the latest news on www.actionman.com. And the contents of the box, you get an Action Man in a military outfit, an army beret, boots, belts, and dog tag. So there we are. So, like I say, I've chosen this figure. I mean, I wasn't actually going to bother. I mean, I have bought a few of, you know, the the newer figures uh, before they've done this, you know, now this, they've got 30 points of articulation. I did buy a few because uh, I heard my nephew uh, taking an interest in them. So uh, I, I went and bought in the parachutist from the deluxe line of the last lot. And that went down well, which is nice to hear. But other than that, as a collector, uh, I I didn't really touch them. I didn't really add them to my collection in spite of the price because they were very reasonably priced as well. They, they were. I mean, they were going for like uh, 10, 15 pound a figure, which I think is very reasonable for an action man. So, uh, but no, I refrain from that. The, the, other than today, the last update in my collection was the 50th anniversary and uh, I've only bought two of those. Uh, it was the Arctic one, because that was a uniform in the vintage line, which I didn't have. And the the paratrooper in, in the camouflage gear, I added that to my collection through the 50th anniversary line, because obviously the original of that is very hard to find and very, very expensive. So it was one of those ones that I was unable to add to my vintage collection so obviously i added it through the 50th line but now we have these new ones today and i've chosen this one specifically because it's an officer cadet and because i was in the army cadets so i'd like to see how the uniform measures up to the reality if you will so i'm going to put you on pause and we'll bust him out of the box and i'll be back in just a second okay so here he is he was very well sealed in there. That took me rather longer than I thought. So he even put a band around his head to keep his beret on. Now, let's take a look at him. His arms move at the wrists and all the rest of it. And he's a bit stiff because he's new. The hands are quite hard as well for gripping hands, but, you know, all the, all the same. So, you know, he moves, fully posable. He even moves a bit at the torso, which is unusual. Knees, ankles, everything that you would expect. So it's a really good quality figure. You know, it's uh, what you would expect from an action man. Now, where's his belt? Let's have a look. Where's his belt? He did say he come with a belt. Is it under here, maybe? Oh, no, there's no belts. Okay, we're not going to undress him. I could have sworn it said on the box he come with a belt. Maybe that's just mine. Uh, no, it doesn't say... Oh, it does say belt. Where is the belt? Is it in the box, maybe? I don't see any belt anywhere, guys, but... Maybe mine's been left out, I don't know. Uh, anybody else got one of these? Have you got your... Has your figure come with a belt? Because it says it's supposed to. Mine obviously doesn't. But never mind. Okay. Let me just find something to point at this figure with. Uh, what have I got? It's all going Pete song. Where are we? Let's just straighten him up. Okay, uh, anybody else doing an Action Man video? Uh, maybe uh, use a doll stand. <laughs> okay, there he is. So, he's supposed to come with a belt, although mine hasn't got one, so I don't know what's going on there. He's got the boots. He's got... Um, 
what are they called now? Obviously trousers. Bear with me. <laughs> Let me put you on hold a minute. Okay, we're back again. Action man reporting for duty. Attention! Right. We've got boots, trousers, uh, sort of like the woolen pullover, the dog tag with the tags on it, which are actually the right size, and the beret, and obviously the figure. For some reason, he's supposed to come with a belt, but mine is missing, so naughty. I will, you know, naughty. I shall have to try and procure one of those from somewhere. Uh, okay. Now, let's see what the, what there is. Now, when I was in the army cadets, I mean, this is pretty much, pretty much what we did wear. Uh, obviously, there were other, other parts of the uniform. Now, when I was in cadets, you used to get, you were issued with three pair of trousers, your boots you had to buy yourself, your socks you had to buy yourself, uh, but you were given three pairs of trousers, and let's see if memory serves me right. You had your lightweights, that's what I was looking for, your olive green trousers, they were called your lightweights. You had your combats, which was your camouflage, and you had your barracks, which was your dark green, very smart ones. Now, around the waist at the top here, there should be a belt, a big thick nylon belt with a brass clasp. And on my figure, obviously, that seems to be missing. Uh, that part of the uniform they've, they've missed. And also, obviously, the Beret badge they've missed because this is obviously, uh, obviously just a toy. You also got two shirts, one of these pullovers, uh, and obviously your Beret. And... Basically, the cadets owned everything, apart from your boots and your your beret cap, uh, your beret badge. Basically, so I remember when I left, I handed my all of mine back in. But uh, let's let let's have a look what we've got on this figure anyway. The officer cadet, uh, dog tag. Uh, you bought them yourself if you had one. I mean, we didn't really need them. We were only cadets. But again, it's a nice dog tag. It's, uh, you know, the tags on it are the right size rather than the big oversized ones, which they normally put on Action Man. The Beret is a, uh, it's a nice, nicely molded, nicely molded. The pullover, let's see the pullover. A little bit of rub on the back there. Yeah, the Beret, that's nice. It's a nicely moulded one. The plastic's of good quality. And they put that in there, so obviously you don't scratch his hair. Your figure is the painted hair type that would have been common during the 1960s. Obviously the signature Action Man scar. And my one's a brown-haired one. Let's pop your berry back on. Very nice. I'm very pleased with the figure. I have to say the figure, the articulation and all the rest of it is brilliant, just as it should be. The The detailing on the boots as well have even gone to the trouble of uh, putting the grips on, which they never really generally do on an action, man. So those are, you know quite authentic as I say it's more in line with sort of like the dragon in dreams figures and I like the grippy hands I like that they've gone and brought them on the figures as well I really like that but as I say I mean how accurate it is to a cadet uniform well he's in his lightweights his boots and his jumper which is, which is accurate and the beret as well uh, depending on what detachment you're in, obviously the colour of your bed it may vary. This is sort of a dark green. Mine was a dark, a dark navy, if I remember rightly. Uh, and obviously, there's no need to put a shirt underneath that because that would obviously be too expensive, and you're not actually going to see that on the doll anyway. But yeah, it's a good basic 
representation of a cadet uniform, really. And I really like it. I really do. I'm a bit disappointed that the belt's missing. So I will say that, you know, Hasbro, you know, quality control may be there. They, they, they need to pull the socks up with that. But, yeah, on the whole, it is what it is. It's a, you know, it's a nice action man figure. You know, I mean, I would be pleased with this if I was given it as a kid. You know, I would play with this. All I need to do with mine, really, is to try and source a belt, see if I can find one, maybe from Modeler's Loft or somewhere, just to finish him off. But yeah, he's great, and I'm re I am really pleased that they've uh, brought this thirty points of articulation into the figure because I mean, you can't get away with just dumping an action man head on a uh, you know what effectively is just a Ken doll, can you? You know, I mean that's that's not what action man's about. It's the fact that he's fully jointed. You know, I mean that that's the that was always been you know the the selling points of the figure, hasn't it, really? You know? And apparently the clothing on these, um, they're compatible with the vintage figures as well, which is nice. So, I mean, if I can't find a belt, I'm sure, I'm damn sure I'll be able to find one on the, one of the, you know, a spare vintage one, maybe on eBay. So what would I give the figure, really? It marks out a 10. Well, I'd, I would give it 10 out of 10 for the actual figure. I'm very pleased that they've uh, brought the gripping style hands back. Um, I can't fault it. I can't fault the figure itself. The uniform's a bit basic, considering, you know, it's supposed to represent the cadets, but there's some nice detail on the boots and uh, the fact that the dog tag's actually in... Um, you know, in scale to the rest of the figure, I think's great. So, overall, I'd give the figure 9 out of 10. Uh, it could have, they could have included a rifle with it, you know. These retail at the moment for about £26, which, again, I think's pretty reasonable. It's pretty reasonable. And there it is. I mean, it is what it is. It's it's another action man, only this time it's a, a cadet officer. So there it is. I like the uh, different shading of uh, brown on the moulded hair as well. I do like that. Let's get a closer look at that. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And they've even included the appellettes on the on the shirts. As it should be. I don't think the British Army uh, wear this type of uniform anymore. You'll have to correct me on that if I'm wrong. But I don't think the British Army wear this type of uniform anymore. I think it's all been changed. Oh, well. Let's get your belly back on. And there we go. He's going to fall over. So I'm going to rest him against my <laughs> my World War II tank shell. There we are. Yeah, overall, 9 out of 10. Very pleased. The figure itself, 10 out of 10. And there it is. They're out there, folks. So that's my honest review on it anyway. No frills, no nonsense. Anyway, I will see you again on the next video very soon. For now, though, my name's Damien Jones. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.